discovering everything that's in the May 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the May 2022 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stick around to the end to see how you could win your very own May Keto Crate. Let's go. Okay, starting off, what is this? Fresh green, green fresh, green chef. They are just random words, okay. $120 off, $120 off. How much does it cost? It says the number one meal kit for eating well. I'd like to know, you know, what, what data they have to back that up, but regardless, coupons. Okay, so if you remember from last month, they did not have a literature on top and I thought that maybe it was on the bottom, but this one doesn't have a literature either and like, Maybe they discontinued doing that. Can you, you know, let me know in the comments. Did they stop putting the literature in here? To be honest, I never read it. Like it looked nice, but I really never got the full value out of it. So maybe they're just like trying to be cleaner, better for the planet. Also save some money. Why print thousands of those things if people aren't really paying attention to them, right? So maybe they moved it digital. I have no idea, but regardless, no literature. Oh, but you know what that means? Diving into the snacks, let's go. First thing I saw was a meat stick, already. This is real, oh, real uh, garlic and herb. This is a beef stick. Okay, serving size, one stick, 80 calories, five grams of fat, one gram of carb, three total sugars, what? Uh, including zero grams added sugar, so kosher beef, Water seasoning, is there that much seasoning to where it would be three total sugars? I don't know, how do you have one gram of carb but three sugars? I, you know what? Mm, it's a beef stick, not really gonna like it anyway, but still. Okay, next, we have Keto Granola from Keto Hana. Wow, I haven't heard from Keto Hana in so long. I didn't know they were still a company, good for you. Uh, Keto Granola, coconut and almond. Plant-based, grain-free, no refined sugars, two grams, net carbs. Love how they put that on the package. So serving size is one fourth of a cup, which is I'm assuming one container, 180 calories, 16 grams of fat, seven total carbs, three fiber and two sugar alcohol. So that gets us to two net carbs. Mm, is this 30 grams? Yeah, so this is one serving. Honestly, I love individual servings of granola because granola is my keto kryptonite. And if you give me a, just a big bag of granola, I will eat it in one sitting. Like it, there are no servings. One serving is whatever container the granola comes in. And so the fact that this comes in a nice small container, like, mm. Next we have, oh, okay, Duncan Hines. Okay, global brand. Why don't you just hop right into the keto crate? This is a keto friendly chocolate chip cookie mix. So is it gonna be like a mug cookie situation? I'm obsessed. So there are five net carbs, zero added sugar, eight grams of protein. Oh my gosh, I just, look at this label. So for one container of just the cookie mix, there's 310 calories. But if you prepare the cookie, it's gonna be 510 calories. There are 16 grams of fat, 33 total carbs, and then 10 grams of fiber, nine sugar alcohol. So I'm sure there's some allulose in there too. Yeah. So there's nine grams of erythritol and nine grams of allulose in there. Gosh, and eight grams of protein. What are you supposed to mix this with? Remove film from cup. Add two tablespoons of cool melted butter and one tablespoon of water. Okay, and then you microwave for one minute. Okay, I'm here for that. Because in the prepared cookie, there are 39 grams of fat. And I was like, Lord Jesus, how much fat are we adding to this thing? But like, 
this is exciting. I really don't buy these when I see them in the store, but like, I'm really glad to have it delivered directly to me in the keto crate. Next. Mm. Wow, Keto Farms. I haven't seen something from them in a while and I've definitely never seen this. New product alert, pew, pew, pew. Blueberry vanilla cashews, what? That is exciting. Cashews are my favorite nut, but they're also the highest in carbs, so I don't enjoy them a lot. And then, but blueberry, mmm. So like, there's like blueberry bits attached to the cashews. Okay, if that, okay, that that's that's the story we're going with. So for one container, there are 120 calories, 10 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, and one gram of fiber and seven erythritol. So that's three net carbs. 13 grams of carbs, one fiber, seven erythritol, so that is eight. 13 net carbs, no. There are 13 total carbs, one dietary fiber, seven erythritol, so that means there are five net carbs. I think that's a lot of carbs for nuts, but I mean, flavored nuts, cashews especially, there's gonna be a lot of carbs. But I mean, I'm excited to try these. I've never had these before. Okay, next. Mm, oh, keto cereal from Snack House. Okay, I love Snack House foods. This is banana maple French toast cereal. Interesting. But I mean, I'm excited to try it. I love Snack House foods. Okay, so there are nine total carbs minus eight of allulose. So that's one net carb. They are really letting us know about these net carbs. So for one package, there are 120 calories, six grams of fat, nine total carb, eight allulose. And so that means there's one gram net carb. So this is like a protein puff with just like a sweetened protein puff. Yeah, the very first ingredient is milk protein isolate. The next ingredient is allulose. So... I mean, do I personally eat bananas on my French toast? No, not really, but I'll, I'll be okay to try this. Oh, next we have Hilo Life Ultimate Taco Chips. I absolutely love Hilo Life chips because they are made with almond flour and that means that they are thicker and crunchier and I am here for it. So for one package, there are 150 calories, 11 grams of fat, five, total carbs, two fibers. So that means there's three net carbs and 10 grams of protein. I am definitely here for it. Mm, the very first ingredient is high oleic sunflower oil. Don't know how I feel about that. The second ingredient is defatted almond flour. Interesting choices, but I know that these taste good. I don't know if I've ever had this flavor before, the ultimate taco, so I'm excited to try that. Okay, next we have mm, Ellsworth cooperative creamery lord knows i've never said that before cheddar curd crunchers okay so these are basically just like cheese crunchies but i've never heard of ellsworth cooperative creamery so that's exciting i love when the keto crate delivers me brands that i've never heard of before and this bag is pretty substantial i am here for it so there are two servings per container i do like that so per container there are 26 grams of fat there are six total carbs and there are uh, zero fiber, so that's six net carbs. Okay, that's a, I guess cheese could have, especially dehydrated cheese could have some carbs in it. And then there are 21 grams of protein because yeah, the ingredients are just pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. So like there doesn't look to be any sort of flavoring or coating on these. So yeah, like the, the flavor is natural. So I'm excited to try that. I love crunchy cheese and I love seeing products from brands that I've never heard of before. Okay, next, mmm. Boy, do I love me some Field Trip Crispy Cuts. Yep, these are sweet chipotle. I've had these plenty of time in the keto crate. They are delicious, they're pork rinds. Uh, let's see, there are two servings per container. Okay, so each serving there is 80 calories, six grams of fat, one carb, so that's two carbs for this container and then seven grams of protein per serving. So yeah, the ingredients are fried pork rinds. The next ingredient is cane sugar. So do with that what you will. Uh, and then spices. So it, I mean, there's still only two grams of total carbs per this entire package. So it can't be that much cane sugar, but still just watch your ingredients. Uh, I do happen to love field trip crispy cut. So I'm excited to see these. Mm, oh. 
Okay, once again, always excited to see Monk Pack. It kind of got squoze into the little corner here, uh, but I'm excited to see it. Keto Granola Bar. These are even even better than the nut and seed bars. The granola bars are just so good, and it's dark chocolate cocoa. <sighs> I'm 100% here for that. Serving size is one bar, 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, 14 total carbs, five fiber, six allulose, and one glycerin. Are they counting that one in glycerin? Uh, and then four grams of protein. Let's see. Yeah, the two net carbs. So yes, they are counting that glycerin. So I love, but I do love how they spell it out on the label for you. So yeah, this is Monk Pack. It's gonna be delicious. I love the purple packaging. I'm here for the bright colors. And then finally, ooh, what do we have here? First of all, I see sprinkles. And you know I love some sprinkles. High key soft baked mini treats. I'd be very interested to try because I love the crunchy cookies, but now there's a soft baked version. Not to mention it's birthday cake, meaning there are sprinkles in here. Like, okay, I'm very excited about this. Didn't know that these existed. So I am, I'm excited. Okay. So on the back, it says muffin compares to these. So am I supposed to be thinking muffin when I eat this birthday cake muffin? Yes, please. Okay. So <laughs> The nutrition facts, there are two servings per container. So one serving is three pieces. So I guess they'd have to be a little bigger than cookies for one serving to be three pieces. And so there are six pieces per container, but per container there are 220 calories, 24 grams of total carbs, four grams of fiber, six grams of sugar alcohol, and then 10 grams of allulose. And then there are going to be seven grams of protein. So total carbs for this whole thing is four, four net carbs for this whole thing. I'm excited. I've never tried these before. I'm hoping they taste vanilla-y. I'm hoping there is some texture from the sprinkles. I'm hoping that the erythritol aftertaste isn't really strong. Yeah, because the second ingredient is allulose and the third ingredient is erythritol. So we'll see. Okay, that's it for the keto crate. Oh, there's a QR code at the bottom. Is that where they put the literature these days? That is so clever. I didn't realize there was another one here. So there's actually one on the actual top of it. Well, well, well played Keto Crate, well played. I am excited. So overall, I think this is a great crate because it delivered me some things I've never heard of before from brands I've never heard of. Deliver me some things that I've never tried from brands that I know I already love. And then just delivered me some old, old favorites, right? But then even more, yeah, like stuff from brands that I've already liked, but I haven't tried the particular product. Those are my favorite, right? Because I already have that base of like, I know that I love this brand. Let me just try this new product they have. And then from brands I haven't seen in a while, or maybe you've never seen, I love it. And then meat sticks. So overall, this was a great crate. Comment down below, let me know which product you have tried or would be most excited to try, and you'll be entered to win your very own May Keto Crate, and we'll draw the winner over on our Smash the Crate series. That's the monthly series where myself, along with my mother and my husband, try every product in this month's Keto Crate. So be sure to check that one out as well. Okay guys, can't wait to get snacking. I will catch you next time. Bye.